Jin Young Shur, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, thanks. Namo, let's do this together. Let's do this together. Namo Sadanto. Please say it with me, nuns in JGH. Ready? Together. Namo Sadanto Suche Doya Ola Hodi San Putoshi. Namo Sadanto Suche Doya. Allah <laughs> to our original Mr. teacher, original teacher, Shakyamuni. Shakyamuni. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, tonight we start with the, <clears throat> can everybody hear me? Uh, see me and see my screen, okay? Any problems? Chifashu,还有Chifashu,要分享的画面。Chifashu,we see you, but not your slide. Oh, okay. I have to share screen just a minute. Now, do you see my slides? Yes. Okay. So tonight, um, we're going to do something a little bit different. Usually when I talk about the mantra, we go sequentially. Tonight, we're going to concentrate on Wuxin Du Lu Yong. 好, 今天晚上我们会做一点不一样的事情。通常, 我们讲愣言咒的时候会按顺序讲,但是今天晚上我们要讲的是胡心度路用. Okay, so um, rather than give you a, an explanation of Hu Xin Du Lu Yong, we'll just begin with Master Shifa and what he has to say, and then we'll see what Master Hua has to say. 
，所以与其嗯、呃、给大家这个。啊、呃，解释，我们先看续法大师他的解释，然后再来看宣公上人的解释。Stacy, do you have people ready to read? Um, yes, we have two English reader and two Chinese reader so far. Okay. Um, so could someone read this page, please? English only. English only. Um. Uh, Locke, do you, could you read the English? Hu xin du lu yong. First, these syllables pertain to the three bodies. These five syllables are equivalent to om. Om contains three meanings. Er wu meng is the three bodies, dharma, reward, and transformation. All Buddha dharma comes from these. The explanation of the syllabary says, "Nu er means all dharmas are far removed and cannot be got at. An means the extent to which dharmas reach cannot be got at. Ao means all dharmas transformation cannot be got at." Okay, so we have bukada, bukada, bukada cannot be got at. So that's Master Shufa's. First comments.、Um, Lock,、uh, let's ask Lock to read through the rest of Master Shufa, please. Wu Xin is Wu Xin and is Om. Du Lu Yong is Er Wu Meng and also means Om. Om Ah Hong is the all-encompassing, upholding true words. Om is Virochana. Ah、uh, is Amitabha, and Hong is Akshobhya. Okay, so this is our internal three Buddhas. When we say Om, it's at the top of our head, and it's Virochana. When we say Ah, it's at the throat, and it's Amitabha. When we say Hong, it's at the Dantian, at the belly, and we say Akshobhya. Those are the three Buddhas in our own nature. Okay, so we are now talking about the three Buddhas. It is when we say Om, it is from the head. That is the Pilu Jana Buddha. Then Ah is in the belly part. So this is Amitabha. Hong is from the Dantian. This is Achuha. Then Akshobhya is from the throat. So this is the three Buddhas. Okay, so we are now talking about the three Buddhas. It is when we say Om, it is from the head. That is the Pilu Jana Buddha. Next, these syllables pertain to the five Buddhas. Who is Nail Ya and represents Amitabha's seed syllable. Shin is Hong and represents Akshobhya's seed syllable. Du is Er Si Jia and represents Amogasiddhi seed syllable. Lu is Shola and represents Ratna Sambhava's seed syllable. Yong is Hu and represents Virochana's seed syllable. Okay.、Um, so we have the five Buddhas. This is sometimes we use the translation、uh, from Chinese.、Uh, so Virochana is pervading all places. Ratna Sambhava is producing jewels. Amoga City is accomplishment according to karma. Akshobhya is、um, invincible, and he's in the east. And Amitabha is the Lotus Land Buddha. Jinjing, I forgot to mute myself. Sorry, <laughs> go again. So this uh, five Buddhas, is using the Chinese meaning. Ah, so first, ah, look at Pilu Jana Fo. He is ah, 
，然后再来就是啊、呃、保生佛。啊，保生就是 r a t n a 这个，然后再来就是成就佛，成就这个是呃业的这个成就，然后再来就是阿处佛，呃，就是啊，他、呃、是在东方啊、呃，就是呃呃能胜，就是不不会失败，然后再来就是莲啊、呃，阿弥陀佛，他代表莲花部。OK， 嗯、um, ，Simon， if you're watching， I I guess I don't have the right set of slides, but I'm going to go through these anyway. Okay, so here we have、um, a little bit about each each one: the Vajra division in the east, the Jewel division in the south, Buddha division in the middle, Lotus division in the west, and Karma division in the north. So someone has put together this chart, and I've. Put this chart here for you in case you're interested. So it tells the kind of wisdom that's prevalent with that Buddha, his position, his symbol, his color, his mudra, and、um, the skanda that he represents. Okay, so we have here a chart of the Jingang Bu. This is the Ajahn Fu. 然后再来就是啊、呃，保生部，这个是代表南方，然后佛部在中间，然后啊、呃，莲花部在啊、呃、西边，然后再来就是啊、呃，成就成就部，然后啊、呃，这个这一个啊、呃、表格就是有人做了这一个表格，所以我们在这边给大家看一下。那他告诉我们啊、呃，每一尊佛他啊、呃、相关的智慧是什么，所以你可以看到他的智慧。啊，然后他在哪一方啊？东西南北中，然后他的啊符号啊是什么？他的啊颜色、手印，然后他所代表的啊五蕴之中的哪一个 ？English reader, Stacy. Um, Jin Roshi, could you unmute? Okay. When the crown is anointed. These three dharmas and five dharmas or mantras are drawn there. The sages and worthy ones of the triple jewel throughout the dharma realm <clears throat> come forth from these. The sutra on the one world at the Buddhist crown, the empty space treasury rituals, and the susidi dharma all say, "Anshin er na ju," calls forth these six syllables of the Buddha division. Om Hang Ana Li invites the Lotus Division seed syllables. An Hang Bari Lajer Li represents the seed syllables of the Vajra Division. Requests. Request.、Uh, Chinese and English, please, Stacy. Um, Alan Huang. Zhong Chi. 真言嗡阿訇，毗卢弥陀阿處東，法報化身三大義，十方賢聖從此生。Alan, could you also read English? All encompassing, upholding two words are Om Ah Hong, which relate to Varochana, Amitabha, and Eastern Ashoka. Three powers concepts are the Dharma reward and transformation bodies. Sages and worthy ones of the ten directions come forth from these. Okay, so let's help Stacy out. Some of you participants can offer to read either Chinese or English. That saves my energy and gives me more energy to explain what's on the slides. So I hope some of you will volunteer. Okay, so we can help Stacy. Is, uh, we in the audience, if anyone can help read Chinese, let Stacy know. So that way. 
可以，嗯，保持一下持法师他的体力，然后他可以有比较多的精神，可以解释啊、呃，我们这个幻灯投影片上面的意思。我是读英文的，中文跟英文的，你说了吧。Yeah， 中文英文。<咳> English please。Who she is on? All pronounced, also pronounced none. Whichever way is pronounced, it still carries the same meaning. In general, mantra syllables can go through thousands of changes and tens of thousands of transformations. You say they do this, but then they do that. You say they do that, but then they do this. Okay, so the mantra syllables aren't fixed. We, as we go through the Shurangama mantra week by week, we see that. We see that a syllable that might have meant one thing last week could mean something different this week. English. So our this letter, it's not, um, it's not fixed. This week, we can, uh, read this letter. It's the same meaning. Next week, it's different. Um, could Catherine E read the English? Yes, I can. You say they are red, but they turn yellow. You say they are yellow, but they turn white. What's happening? Some sledge of hand dharmas. It, it is also inconceivable and ineffable. The mind cannot conceive of it. Words cannot describe it. The mouth wants to speak, but is at a loss for words. The mind wishes to reflect on the conditions. But its thought process fails. Okay. Let me talk. So, sleight of hand dharmas are like a magician.、Uh, he uses sleight of hand. He moves his hand in a certain way in order to perform his magical trick. But we don't quite see it. It goes by so fast. And that's what the master is saying about what happens with the syllables in the mantra. They do incredible things. And、um, they go by in a flash. Hey, so, ah,、uh, 魔术师呢，他的手一滑呢，他就可以变一个魔术，因为他的手法非常的快。所以上人在这边呢，呃，就讲到说，这个咒呢也是这样子啊、呃，非常的不可思议，好像变戏法这样，因为呃，啪一下他就过去了。English. Um, Barbara, could you read English? All-encompassing, upholding true words are Om Ah Hum, Hu Shen Du Lu Yong. Hu Shen translates as all-encompassingly upheld true words. Hu Shen is also said to be Om. Om Ah Hum. Can also be pronounced non yahong. Omahong、okay. is the three platforms where body, mouth, and mind become three pure karmic vehicles. When you chant Omahong, it is as if you have created the magnificent and pure Shurangama platform. This is pretty amazing here. The Shurangama platform is extremely intricate. You find all the information about how to set up a Shurangama platform in the Shurangama Sutra, but the master is saying just the three syllables Omahong can do the same thing. It can create a tremendously pure and awesome space in which. We can exist. Okay, so Om Ah Hum, these three tones, mouth, mind, and soul, you say Om Ah Hum, just like you create a lotus flower like that, to create a pure and pure space. So this is very special. Okay, so Om Ah Hum, these three tones, mouth, mind, and soul, you say Om Ah Hum, just like you create a lotus flower like that, to create a pure and pure space. So this is very special. Okay, so Om Ah Hum, these three tones, mouth, mind, and soul, you say Om Ah Hum, just like you create a lotus flower like that, to create a pure and pure space. So this is very special. Okay, so Om Ah Hum, these three tones, mouth, mind, and soul, you say Om Ah Hum, just like you create a lotus flower like that, to create a pure and pure space. So this is very special. Okay, so Om Ah Hum, these three tones, mouth, mind, and soul, you say Om Ah Hum, just 啊，怎么样啊？设这个楞严坛场的这些资料，但是啊 ，on a home 这三个音呢，它就可以啊，它就可以
、呃、造一个啊、呃、清净庄严的呃楞严坛，我们可以在里面。Um, Terry, could you help read? Om is the seed syllable for Vairochana Buddha. Ah is Amitabha Buddha. Hong is Akshopya Buddha, who is medicine master Buddha, who quells the calamities and lengthens life. Okay, Om Ah Hong. English and relate to Virochana, Amitabha, and Eastern Akshopya. Virochana is the center, Amitabha is the in the west, and Akshopya is in the east. Okay, so these are important. We have, as I said before, our internal Virochana at the crown of our head, Amitabha at the throat, Akshopya at the Don Tan. And we also have the external, extremely adorned three Buddhas, all of whom have their own Buddha lands. 所以这三个很重要，这是我们啊、呃、三个啊、呃、内在的佛，呃，毗卢遮那佛是从头顶，阿弥陀佛这个是在啊、呃、喉咙这边喉喉咙，然后阿处佛啊、呃、是在丹田，所以啊。呃所以这三呃这三位佛非常庄严，他们也有他们自己的净土。嗯，易环 ，Could you read English? Three powerful concepts are the Dharma, reward, and transformation bodies. The Dharma body, the reward body, and the transformation bodies are included in this. The syllable "hong" represents all three. It means Dharma body. It means reward body. It means transformation bodies, and it also has many more meanings. Stacy, um, Locke, could you read this one? Sages and worthy ones of the ten directions come forth from these. The Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and Arhats throughout the ten directions, all sages cultivate this Dharma. They are all born from this Dharma. Okay, that's a pretty profound statement. Born from the Sharangama Mantra. Every set of syllables in the Sharangama Mantra is wonderful Dharma. Every set of syllables is a samadhi, but because we do not recognize that, we don't understand their value and worth. It's as if we don't recognize gold and mistake it for brass, or we mistake brass for gold. So, 刚才那个是非常呃深奥的一句话，因为呃所有都是从楞严咒出生来的。十方贤圣从此生，所有十方的佛、菩萨、罗汉，这些圣人都修过这个法，都从这个法出生。嗯 ，Dharma，Dharma Master Jing Rou 是。You have to unmute. If you sincerely uphold the Shirangama Mantra, any four thousand Vajra treasure bodhisattvas will become to protect you. But you must be sincere, and you must chant and uphold the mantra with your true mind. If you don't use your true mind, or if you lack sincerity, then you won't receive any response. So here is an image depicting the Vajra Treasury Bodhisattvas.、And、the masters、um, confirmed that when we memorize the Shrinama Mantra, to begin with, eighty-four thousand of these will be willing to protect us. If we don't keep it up, if we forget what we memorized, or if we fail to 
recite the mantra, then they may leave us, or some of them may leave us, because they have more important work to do, helping people who are reciting. So you can know that you will get help if you would like to memorize the Sharangama mantra. It is these Vajra Treasury Bodhisattvas that will help you. So we see now the Shangamantra. 所以你背这个楞严咒的时候，你知你要知道，呃，金刚藏菩萨他是会帮助你的。Okay, um, you'll have to forgive me. I'm going to do these slides one at a time, so I have to go out and pick up the next set of slides. Okay, 所以呃，不好意思，因为我们呃看这个投影片呢，我们是。啊，一个投影片，一个投影片看，所以这个档案完了，我们就要出去再换另外一个档案。Okay, because Hu Xin Du Lu Yong has been explained, Master Xu Hua, when it comes to this this line, he doesn't contribute anything more, and so we go straight to the Master's verses. So we'll need Chinese and English for this one. Okay,所以续法大师他讲《胡信都录用》就没有再讲更多了,所以我们要看一下上人的注解。我们现在要看中英文。Alan um, Huang, could you read both? 胡信都录用真言咒立妙难思三昧加持念在兹 Rhe two words in the mantra are powerful and one wondrous beyond conception. Aided by Samadhi, we recite them with immediate intensity. Heated affliction disper disperse. A clear coolness prevails. The unsurpassed Buddha Jew will always protect you. Okay, so that was the master's uh, second time he's written a, a verse on Hu Shen Du Lu Yong. You'll notice the first time it appears in the mantra is at line 193, and then it skips to 195. 所以这是上人对呼心都录用第二次的注解。你可以看到第一次它出现是在第193句,第二次出现是第195句。That means that it doesn't appear until the second assembly because there are 186 uh, syllables in the um, sets of syllables in the first way, in the first assembly. And then Hu Xin Du Lu Yong has quite a few. I mean, the second assembly has quite a few Hu Xin Du Lu Yong. So it means that Hu Xin Du Lu Yong is present in the second assembly. Because the first assembly has 186 words. And the second assembly, Hu Xin Du Lu Yong is present many times. English, please, Stacy. Um, uh, Catherine, could you unmute and read? These two words in the mantra are powerful and wondrous beyond conception. The Surangama mantra is unimaginable, inconceivable, wondrous beyond conception and beyond the realm of thought. Okay, so the master gave it a whole lot of adjectives to say how wonderful the mantra is. 所以上人这边用很多的形容词来形容楞严咒到底有怎么样的不可思议，怎么样的妙？Stacy，嗯，Barbara， 
aided by samadhi, we recite them in, with immediate intensity. The mantra acts as a powerful aid to samadhi. Your chanting of the mantra aids your samadhi, but you must keep your mind on what you are doing. You can't always be engaged in false thinking. Um, Terry? Heated afflictions disperse. A clear coolness prevails. If you can receive and uphold it, then all the heated afflictions gradually will change into the clear coolness of an herbal infusion. And you will experience that clarity and coolness. Okay, interesting that the master uses temperature as a description. It's very effective to think of heated afflictions, anger, jealousy, resentment, and cool clarity. When we're calm, when nobody is disturbing us, when we aren't upset about anything, then indeed we are cool. 对商人他是用温度来表示这个 the unsurpassed Buddha jewel will always protect you. All the unsurpassed Buddhas of the Buddha jewel will at all times be mindful of you and protected. They will continually bless you and cause you to augment your mind for the way. Very, very positive statement that not just one, not just our Shakyamuni Buddha, but all the Buddhas. Take care of us. Watch over us. Wushangfobao Uh, Yi Huan, could you read? Hu Xing Du Lu Yong is the 195th fact of syllables in the mantra. Everyone should be particularly attentive to the Sarangama mantra. Okay, so we have the master wrote this. I believe this is Siddham. Um, and so we have Hu. Xin, Du, Lu, Yong. Okay, so I, uh, I think this is, uh, wrote, this is Xitan, so from the left is Hu, Xin, Du, Lu, Yong. Um, Liu Li Wei, could you, could you read English? Everything is made from the mind alone. If you recite wrong and you are not doing it deliberately, then it's not your fault and it doesn't matter. Jiajali, um, could you read English? Okay. You need only be sincere and then even if you recite wrong, there can be a response. That's because the mantra spirits know that you aren't being sloppy when you are chanting is not accurate. And so there can still be a response. Thank you. Okay. Um, I want you to notice here, 193, 195, 197. 201, 206, 212, 375, and 553. Those are the eight times when Hushin Dulu Yong, or a variation of Hushin Dulu Yong, 
appears. So we're now ready for 197. Okay, so in the image, you can see 193, 195, Okay, and so we come to the next set of verses. We need Chinese and English. Um, Chinese and English. Um, Alan Huang, could you read again both language? Wu Xun Du Lu Yong Zhen Xin Zhen Yi Zhen Yo Zhen Zhen Xin Zhen Xiu Zhen Gen Zhen a true mind and true intent equal true plus true. True practice and true cultivation make the true truer. True actions and true behavior add truth to truth in every way and at all times, be true, true, true. Simon, if you're here, I did read all your corrections, but I like this one better, so I kept it. A true mind and true intent equal true plus true. One true isn't enough. You need two. Be true and true without the least bit of falseness. If any falseness is mixed in, no good result. Will be achieved. Stacy. Um, Van, could you read English? True practice and true cultivation make the truth truer. If you truly accept and uphold the Buddha Dharma, if you hold this mantra, and if you truly cultivate, then there will be truth within what's true. Um, Elaine, could you read English? True actions and true behavior add truth to truth. Take a look. True has already appeared 12 times in the first three lines of verse. In this last line, there are three more, making 15 truths in all. 15 truths are sufficient. You need to make those 15 truths yours. Um, Locke, could you read English? In every way and at all times, be true, true, true. And so I said that you cannot be the least bit false. If in your study of Buddhism, you have a small amount of falseness, then you are cheating yourself. You can't cheat the Buddhas. You can't cheat the Bodhisattvas and you can't cheat other people. You only cheat yourself. Okay. So that was 197. And now we go to 201, which is another Hu Xin Du Lu Yong. 所以刚才是讲完第197句,现在我们要来到201,这个是另外一个呼吸度录用。and because Master Shufa already introduced Hu Xin Du Lu Yong, again, he does not add any commentary. And so we go straight to the Master's verse. So we need Chinese and English. Mm. Um, could Jack read Chinese and uh, Dharma Master Ro, could you read English? <laughs> With utmost sincerity, he received, uphold, and recite the suitables. Eventually, we gain a samadhi that is wondrous beyond words. Inside of sage, 
outside a king, nurture meritorious qualities, perfecting Bodhi, transcend to a place beyond here. Okay, so it's literally a heaven beyond this heaven. Um, I translated it a place beyond here. You can argue with me if you want to. This 200 a set of syllables is, once again, should be the 201st, I think, Hushin Dulu Yong, which is again Om Ah Hong and ties up a platform. So we have Om Ah Hong. Om Varachana at the crown, A Amitabha at the throat. Hong is Akshobhya, uh, Medicine Master Buddha, at the Dantian, at the belly. Okay, this is the um, Catherine, could you read? With utmost utter sincerity, we receive, uphold, and recite the syllabus. When you chant, don't entertain random thoughts. Don't be greedy. Don't contend, don't seek, and don't be selfish or pursue self-benefit. Okay, and so we now have Hu Xin Du Lu Yong with the Chinese characters and the Roman language. So we can see that Hu Xin Du Lu Yong has Chinese, and then there are the Very important syllables. That's what this whole lecture tonight is about. When you chant the Sharangama mantra, do it single-mindedly. Chant until inside there's no body or mind, and outside there's no world. Be mindful of your chanting, but without harboring the concept of mindfulness. Don't be mindful of your mindfulness while always being mindful. Let there be no mindfulness, and yet you can always be mindful. When you reach that state, you will have no distracting thoughts. Stacy. Uh, Barbara, could you read? Eventually, we gain a samadhi that is wondrous beyond words. If you chant like that, then the time will come when your chanting will enable you to gain samadhi. Samadhi is a Sanskrit term that means concentration. You will achieve proper concentration and will have proper reception. Okay, and here is the Sanskrit. This is the Sa, the Ma, and the D. Um, Terry, could you read? Inside a sage, outside a king. Nurture meritorious qualities. Inside, a sage means when you gain the clarity of a sage, you will want to continually sit in meditation, to continually cultivate concentration, to continually receive and uphold, read and recite every set of syllables in the mantra. Um, Yi Huan, could you read? Outside, a king means you need to continue amassing merit and accumulating virtue. Cultivators of the way, people who study Buddhism, should do this attentively. Amass merit. Even if you start with none, you just let it build little by little. Accumulate virtue. You need to do more Virtuous deeds. Um, Liu Li Wei, could you read? Thus, it's absolutely essential that cultivators of the way do not make mistakes in cause and effect. You cannot be even the slightest bit sloppy or casual about it. Okay, I'll talk about the picture a little bit. Um, 
<clears throat> this is uh, Hui Sung Fasher. This is Shifu kneeling. And who knows who this is? Anybody tell me? That Hai Dung Fasher. Great. That's Hai Dung Fasher. So Hai Dung Fasher, I'll tell you a few things about him. Go ahead, translate. 所以我们就讲一下这张相片,右边这一位是慧僧法师,那中间上人是跪在那儿,那左边是谁,这个是海登法师,所以我们讲一点海登法师的事情。That uh, time, uh, Haidang Fasha had come to the United States um, to promote a movie about him that was going to be shown in San Francisco's Chinatown. It was shown. And so uh, communist officials brought Hai Deng Fasher, who was considered to be a uh, national treasure. So when he left the country, he was, he was guarded so that he wouldn't defect. Um, so he came and the master is kneeling for the very reason of what I just said, because he was treated as a possession of China uh, by the Chinese officials who brought him, that he was basically under house arrest while he was in the United States. The master wanted to show a different way of approaching uh, a relationship with Hai Deng Fasher. So he very sincerely knelt while Hai Deng Fasher spoke uh, part of the Shurangama Sutra. So Hai Deng Fasher来美国的时候,他是要宣传有关于 所以当这个共产党的官员带他到美国来的时候呢，因为海登法师当时被认为是国宝，所以他离开中国的时候，他是需要受到保护的。那所以他来到美国的时候呢，上人就啊，所以你可以看到上人是跪在他前面的啊，
um, he studied martial arts to a perfection, to the point that if he touched you at a certain place, it would kill you. And so when he would be accosted on the road and people would try to bully him, he would let them know that he had that ability. If you get close enough to me, he said, I can touch you and you will die. Okay, so um, Buya Ingwei, um, Hadong Pasha Tashi with Hongzi, you mean Joe Kambuchi, ta, ta, xiao, xiao, de, uh, 因为他在他年轻比较小的时候他也会告诉你如果你靠近的话我碰你身体某一个部分你可能会死掉姐嘉丽 um, could you read English? Okay An inner siege has an international inter, internalized intelligence An ultra king is quite principled in conducting matters. He accounts with Dahmer as he nurtures marriage and virtue and works so succeed. Perfecting Bodhi transcend to the place to a place beyond here. Wherever you are, don't make mistakes in cause and effect. Wherever you go, be very careful. In that way, you will be able to perfect Bodhi and become a sage. You'll be able to go to other worlds in a Dharma body that transcends this celestial realm. Stacy. Um, Van, could you read? A place beyond here is so vast that there's nothing beyond it and so tiny that there's nothing inside of inside it. It encompasses empty space and pervades the Dharma realm. There is nothing that is not right within your own nature. We'll go to 206. Chinese and English, please. Um, Jack, could you read Chinese? Um, Elaine, could you read English? Zixin, Song Chi, Huo Miao Ding, Chen Yi, Jin Jin, Zheng Wu Sheng, San Er, Jia Zha. 染尽半,南超,苦海,永福城。Sincerely chanting these syllables enables us to attain wondrous samadhi. By earnestly applying vigor, we can reach the stage of having no birth. But if good and evil get mixed together so that we are half defiled and half pure, then it's hard to escape the sea of suffering. We keep surfacing and sinking in it. Locke, could you read English? Sincerely chanting these syllables enables us to attain wondrous samadhi. If you can apply your utmost sincerity when chanting and upholding these mantra phrases, then you certainly will be able to attain the firm and solid wondrous sharangama samadhi. This is important. Um, scholars will tell you that you can't attain the Sharon Galama Samadhi until you're an eighth stage Bodhisattva or end of the seventh stage going into the eighth stage. Well, for some of us, that sounds, oh, I'm sorry. You can translate. Okay. Uh, okay. 
啊，所以这个很重要啊，因为学者会告诉你，你一定要到八地菩萨，你才能够得到楞严大定，或者是在第七地啊后面啊要进入第八地的时候。That sounds very、uh, far away to us,、uh, to many of us who are just ordinary people trying to cultivate. It sounds like it might take forever and ever for us to get there if we ever did get there. But the master made the Shrungama Samadhi much more accessible, as he says here. If you can apply your utmost sincerity when chanting and upholding the mantra phases, then you certainly will be able to attain the firm and solid wondrous Shrungama Samadhi. He gave us a lot of hope. The scholars, even、um, even among the monastics. Uh, would say that's not really possible. You have to be an eight stage bodhisattva, but the master wanted us to feel that attaining the stages possible that lead to sagehood was something we could do, and so he would always bring the cultivation as close to us as he could. OK， 所以，嗯，因为八地菩萨听起来就离我们非常的远嘛。那我们，呃，一般人，呃，想要修行，嗯、呃，如果我们，我们有一天可以到到这一个程度，或者是甚至或许有一天，那上人他就啊、呃，把这个楞严大定啊、呃、讲的跟我们比较接近，因为上人说，你能用你至诚恳切的心。来诵持这个咒文，那你一定会得到楞严的坚固妙定。所以这个就啊、呃，给我们很多的，就给我们有希望。因为学者或甚至有出家众都会说，这个是不可能的，因为你一定要是八地菩萨才能够有楞严大定的。那上人呢，就是要要让我们觉得啊、呃，能够得到这种啊、呃、警戒，这个是啊、呃、可能的，是我们可以做得到的。所以他他把这个修行呢，呃，可以让我们可以呃更接近我们，可以让这个修行更接近我们。Dar、um, Master、uh, Rao, could you read? By earnestly applying vigor, we can reach the stage of having no birth. In cultivation, there must be an element of sincerity. What is meant by sincerity? It means applying our mind attentively at all times, so that we never forget. It means focusing the mind so that our thoughts are intent upon cultivation, to the exclusion of all else. So when we do our morning, whatever morning、um, lessons you have set yourself the task to、um, carry out daily. Then we don't want to let our mind wander. We want to be focused on it. It becomes routine, you know. And we get up and wash our face and brush our teeth, and and then we we say whatever mantras or、uh, chant sutras or bow to the Buddha, whatever our particular、uh, gongke is, whatever our lessons are that we want to do.、Um, They become routine because we do them every day, so it's very easy to be absent-minded when we're doing them. And so, what the master is telling us here is that we need to stay intent upon whatever it is we're doing in cultivation, and that's up to us. We have to find ways to do that. So we we muster our vigor. We start to fall asleep, or we see our mind drifting, and we vigorously bring it back. When、uh, Don Master Sure was bowing once every three steps, <clears throat> he used to use the wisdom sword, and he would he would literally, while he was、uh, bowing, if he saw false thoughts coming up, he would,、uh, in his own mind, slash them with the wisdom sword. So it worked for him. And so you can find your own way to apply vigor. What is it that you're going to use to help you stay intent upon your practice? 
，所以呃，当我们做我们的早课的时，做我们早课的时候。呃，我们会给自己一项功课，然后我们每一天都去做，呃，就是我们每一天的每一天的呃功课，所以呃，我们就不要让我们的我们的心到处乱跑。那因为这个是我们已经很固定的功课，我们早上起来刷牙、洗脸，然后我们就念咒、念经，然后甚至是拜佛。那因为它是一个固定的功课，所以很容易我们的心呢就会散乱。呃，当我们呃心散乱的时候呢，上人说我们修道要有一种诚意，就是我们在修行的时候，我们必须要精进。呃，或许我们会想睡觉啦，或许我们打妄想啦，我们就要用这个精进啊、呃、的这个力量，把我们的心呢再带回来这个诚意。十法师他三步一拜的时候呢，他说他是用智慧剑啊、呃、来对峙啊、呃、这个问题。如果他打一个妄想啊，或者是他的心散了。他就在他的心里面呢，他就会有一个智慧剑，就把这个妄想呢，啊，给砍了。所以，嗯、呃，所以我看我们是要用什么方法，可以让我们呢，能够保持这种修道的这种诚意。Stacy, um, Alan, could you read? But if good and evil get mixed together, so that we are half. Defile and have pure. If within Buddhism you do a bit of good, but also a bit of evil, suppose you cannot distinguish clearly between good and evil, so that things get mixed up, and you do good for bad reasons, or you have a few good reasons for doing bad. Okay, so there's a little bit of a bad reason to do good, a good reason to do bad. There's a little bit of mad mixed in with the good, a little bit of good mixed in with the bad, and so we're part defiled and part pure. That's what this whole Saha world is. It's a it's a mixture of good and evil, and so we, as inhabitants of this world, obviously have come here to receive certain rewards or retributions based on duality. So. 所、okay, 以所以这个就讲到，我们做一点善，又做一点恶，啊、呃，善恶就夹杂在做善里头，就有一个恶因，在恶里面又有一点，呃，善因，所以就是我们一半一半清净，然后但是一半是恶的，这就是在娑婆世界就是这样，就是善恶夹杂，我们在这边呢，呃，又有一些，呃，业报，有一些好，有一些不好。嗯。Catherine, could you read? Then it is hard to escape the sea of suffering. We keep surfacing and sinking in it. If that's how you are, then you won't be able to escape the cycle of rebirth in the six paths. You won't be able to climb out of the sea of suffering. You will continually bob up and down in the sea of suffering. Which basically means that you'll go through rebirth,、uh, as the master says here in the six paths. That um, um, sometimes you may be born a little higher, and so that's like bobbing on the surface of the sea of suffering. And sometimes you may be born in a lower realm, and that's like sinking in the sea of suffering. And in general, we just keep swimming about, swimming about, and we haven't figured out. What we need to do to be able to get out of that sea of suffering、uh, completely. So we, uh, is this kind of, uh, not, uh, in this, uh, six paths of rebirth. Sometimes we, uh, our head is higher, for example, like we are floating on the sea. Sometimes we, our head is lower, for example, like we are floating on the sea. Sometimes we, our head is lower, for example, like we are floating on the sea. 所以我们就在这个海里面飘来飘去，飘来飘去，还没有办呃，还没有想到办法要怎么样处理这个苦海。Okay, the next Hu Shen Du Lu Yong is at two twelve. A set of syllables for two twelve, and again, Master Shufa 
doesn't contribute, so we go straight to Venerable Master's verse. 两百一十二句啊，须法大师他这里也没有多解释，所以还是直接看上人的注解。嗯，一环 ，Could you read both Chinese and English？ 虎心杜鲁庸，专一则灵，分持弊。至诚诵念，永福替；日久功生，成三昧；正德菩提，无来去。Concentration brings response. Being scattered is a detriment. Recite with extreme sincerity. Stay in. Intently focused. In time, your skill will deepen. Samadhi will be gained. Upon realization of Bodhi, no more coming or going will occur. Concentration brings responses. Being scattered is a detriment. This line represents reciting Om Ah Hum. To purify your three karmic vehicles of body, mouth, and mind, the three secrets create a platform. At that time, you must be concentrated.、Um, Barbara, could you read? Concentration brings responses. Being scattered is a detriment. If you are concentrated. Something will happen in response. If you are not concentrated, nothing efficacious will happen. Not being efficacious leads to ruin. Your samadhi is not perfected. Terry, recite with extreme sincerity. Stay intently focused. You must be ultimately sincere in reciting the Sharangama mantra. You never alter your course. You never stop. So we need to somehow include it in our daily life. We can read about it. We could bow to the syllables of it. We could read it from the book and chant it out loud. We could write sections of it on our. Wrist, and while we're cooking and cleaning and driving a car and doing all the things we do, we can memorize it little by little. Try to put the Sharangama mantra in your life. Unmute. Oh, sorry about that. Let me do again. So we need to find a way to bring the Sharangama mantra into our daily life. We can read the Sharangama mantra in our daily life. 我们可以读，我们可以拜楞严咒，我们也可以啊、呃、跟着啊、呃、这个本子念，我们也可以啊、呃、送出念出声来，或者是我们可以啊、呃、把一小段的楞严咒写到我们的手腕上，比如说我们在啊、呃、做清洁的工作啊，我们在洗碗啊啊、呃、的时候，或者是我们在开车的时候，我们都可以啊、呃、念这个楞严咒。或啊，送这个楞严咒，所以我们需要啊，试着把楞严咒跟啊结合在我们的生活里面，放在我们生活里面。大家都同意吗？大家答应了吗 ？Everyone agrees. <laughs> okay, maybe Barbara reads this one. In time, your skill will deepen. Samadhi will be gained. Eventually, your gongfu will become profound. You will graduate. Samadhi will be gained. You will perfect the power of concentration. So,、um, Puchafan is Bhagavati, Bhagavat.、Um, Sarandobo Dala is Sita Tapatre. Oh, blessed white canopy, guard me. Namo Swedudi, Namo Stute. May there be homage to you. Ashidona Lalacha, 
Asitana la, I'm sorry, Asitana la Kapra, full of light from the unbound Asita, sun, Arka, and fire, Anala. Thank you. So that's one little tiny section where we see the Romanization of the Chinese. We see the um, Devanagari, and we get a translation of what it means. That's only four sets of syllables. It's a very, very rich thing to study. Um, Lauren, who is um, on the faculty of Dharmaram Buddhist University, uh, has studied it and she has, uh, she's very willing to help you if you'd like to study it. There are things you'd like to know about the Devanagari or the translation. Uh, you can contact her and learn more about the mantra. 所以这个是楞严咒一个很小的一个一小段你可以看到它有楞严咒它的中文的译音天成体还有英文它的翻译的意思它只有四句但是它的意思非常的丰富如果你要研究的话 欢喜来帮助你，愿意帮助你。如果你要知道啊，天成体的话，或是他的翻译的话，你也可以联络他。如果你想学的话，嗯，刘立伟，could um, you read English? Upon realization of body, no more coming or going will occur. We reach the enlightened way. Bodhi, the unsurpassed, proper, and equal right enlightenment, then you will not come and will not go. But you must be patient in your cultivation. If you aren't, you won't be able to cultivate. Uh, Stacy, do we have anything vital on the chat? Um, there, there's no question so okay. far. Okay, good. Then we'll go on. So we come to 375. Now this is not Hu Xin Du Lu Yong. This is Hu Xin Hu Xin. Uh, but it's uh, relative to Hu Xin Du Lu Yong. So we will read. Um, and because this is Hu Xin Hu Xin, Master Xu Fa does comment here. He says, Hu Xin Hu Xin commands the multitudes in the heavens and on earth. He says, Hushin means subduing and protecting and belongs to the Vajra division. So it's a Sambai Chishu Ji, Tazaka Shu, Hushin Hushin, Zeran Bushu Hushin Dulu Yong, Tashi Tashi Gentayo, Xiang Guan Lian. So she got that shirt, in way she Hushin Hushin, so it had you, you, the eager Jesh. Jong Wen Shi, Chi, Tian Shang Disha, Ichi Jong. 那胡信就是有降服的意思,永护的意思,它是金刚部. Okay, and then we'll have Chinese and English for sure for this verse. For mm. Huxin, Huxin. Um, Jack, could you read Chinese? And Van, could you read English? 赤令天上天下众 降服妖魔鬼怪精 永护三宝立功勋,圆满绝道果日龙. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to change a character. I don't have the right slides up. That should be D, not Ken. Okay, so the English is the same. But the first line should be Tian Shang Di Sha. Okay, uh, who's reading English? Commanding the beings who abide in the heavens and below to subdue the energies of monsters, demons, ghosts, and weirdos, to protect the triple jewel, to establish merit, and to fulfill the path to awakening as soon as possible. 
English. Um, Elaine, could you read? These syllables of the mantra function by subduing. They also act as protection. The demons from the heavens and cultists who seek outside the way, as well as monsters, demons, ghosts, weirdos, Li Mei and Wang Liang ghosts, are subdued. And the Triple Jewel is protected so that the proper Dharma can long abide in the world. Um, Jie Jia Li, could you read? Commanding the beings who abide in the heavens and below, the Buddha commands the Dharma protecting good spirits that abide in the heavens and on earth. There are multitudes of them. Okay, so he calls on beings that are in the heavens. He calls on um, Dharma protector spirits who have taken form and are on earth. And he asks all of them to help protect. Um, so we have here a picture of many different kinds of protectors. 所以这边就是在召唤天上的众生也有,还有护法善神地下的护法也包括在内来保护。所以这个我们有很多的图画相片来代表他们的样子。to subdue the energies of monsters, demons, ghosts, and weirdos, they subdue monsters, demons, ghosts, weirdos, Li, Mei, and Wang Liang ghosts to the ends of empty space and the Dharma realm so that they remain under control and cannot do as they please. They are not allowed to cause mischief. Um, Dharma Master Ro. To protect the Triple Jewel to establish merit. On the one hand, they subdue the monsters, demons, ghosts, and weirdos. And on the other hand, they create merit and mass virtue as they guard the Triple Jewel. Alan? And to fulfill the path to awakening as soon as possible. Before long, in the future, they themselves will perfect awakening to the way. Their level of accomplishment will grow higher day by day. So we come to the last. So we've done seven different Ushindulu Yong verses by the master. Well, six. And then we did a Hushin Hushin. And this last one is Hushindulu Yong Pan. Mm. So a little bit different. Okay, so we woman uh to 不一样的,看了七个呼吸都录用,然后一个是呼吸呼吸,我们现在是看最后一个,它有一点不一样,它是呼吸都录用判。Okay, so Master Shufa comments on this one. 呼吸都录用, these syllables draw forth the five divisions to alarm and awaken. That is to awaken both sages and ordinary people regarding the wisdom seeds of the five Buddhas, Amitabha, Akshobhya, Amogasiti, Ratnasambhava, and Vairochana. So again, we have Hu Shin Du Lu Yung. And again, and here we add the Pan. Okay, so here we have Hu Shin Du Lu Yung, and then we have a Pan here. Okay, so now we talk about Pan, Master Shufa does. Stacy? 
Um, Barbara, could you read? Han is a seed syllable and means opening and connecting. The five divisions and the triple jewel are equally opened. The five entrances and three dharmas are shown in connection. Increasing benefit, fond regard, and the rest are the five entrances, superior, middle, and inferior are the three dharmas. These syllables universally enable beings of the 10 dharma realms to fulfill causes and effects in accord with their mundane or spiritual aspirations. Nothing they wish for will not be accomplished. Okay, so here are the five divisions. We're not talking about north, south, east, west, middle here. We're talking <laughs> about the um, functions of mantras. And Master Shufa doesn't name all five. Increasing benefit is one. Fine regard is one. Um, and so we have subduing, we have hooking and summoning, um, and so forth. So that's the five. Not normally are they called divisions, but here they are. And then the three would be, um, the three dharmas would be above, middle, and below. Okay. 所以这里讲到这个五步其实它不是在讲东西南北中的那个五步徐法大师这边讲五步是讲这个咒的它这个功能这边只有讲到增益跟敬爱但是也还有比如说降伏法勾招法等等一共有五个但我们平常就不讲
so they increase. Whereas when we ordinary people recite it, we are still achieving things. We don't have benefit. We, we can't increase what we don't have. So we're deriving it. We're accomplishing it as we go along. So reciting the mantra, what a sage is doing and what an ordinary piece, person is doing are different. Okay, so we... 呃，诵这个楞严咒的时候，圣人诵的时候是增益法，因为他们已经啊、呃、有这个有益可以增，所以他们念就会增加这个利益。但是，一般凡夫我们念啊、呃、的话呢，就是我们还在啊、呃、成就的这个阶段，还没有还没有任何的利益可以增，所以就是我们念就是成就法。所以我们念这个咒的时候，圣人啊、呃、跟凡夫他念他的功能是不一样。Um, Liu Liwei, could you read? These five Buddha oversee five divisions in five directions. The five directions are east, west, south, north, and middle. Those five directions have five divisions. Those five divisions suppress the five mighty demonic armies of this world. The five divisions are. The Vajra division is in the east. The birth of Jewel division is in the south. The Lotus division is in the west. The Karma division is in the north, and the Buddha division is in the middle. Um, let's read, um, Alan. Let's read Chinese and English. Five, Wu Fo. The five Buddhas are. 东方是阿处佛为教主，南方是宝生佛为教主，西方是阿弥陀佛为教主，北方是结摩佛为教主，中央是毗卢遮那佛为教主，阿修毗。Are teaching hosts in the east, Ratana Sambhava, the teaching hosts in the south, Amitabha, the teaching hosts in the west, Amanga City, the teaching hosts in the north, and Barochana, the teaching hosts in the middle. Mm -hmm. Um. Jiajali, could you read? These five Buddhas, who are teaching hosts in the five divisions of the five directions, were all born from these seeds of Eden in the past. That is why now, when they hear the Srangama mantra being recited by anyone, they are delighted and they really want to protect those who are reciting. Mm. To increase benefits and bring success, they resolve to help three levels of beings. But when the five Buddhas protect you and help you succeed, it is essential that you uphold the precepts. You cannot fail to hold the precepts because if you don't use the precepts to guard your body, mouth, and mind, then your three karmic vehicles will not be pure. Stacy. Uh, Van, could you read? If you hold the precepts, then your body, mouth, and mind karmas will be pure. When your body, mouth, and mind karmas are pure, then you will not fight. You will not be greedy. You will not seek. You will not be selfish. You will not pursue self-benefit, and you will not tell lies. If someone who is able to truly uphold those six guidelines and not violate them in the least calls out to the heavens, the heavens will respond. If she beseeches the earth, the earth will reciprocate, unless she doesn't speak. But if she speaks, she will receive an answer. Stacy, um, Elaine, could you read? 
According with propensities, they endeavor to ensure that each gets their wish. No matter what a person seeks, their wishes will be fulfilled. So for those of you who chant the Shurangama Mantra, unless you don't seek a response, if you seek a response, you will receive one. Okay, we have finished um, just about on time. Um, Stacy, are there any, is there anything online that we need to look at? Um, there are no questions in the chat. Okay, good. So we have done what we needed to do and we're ready to transfer the merit. Um, Alan, would you mind? Everyone else, please mute your mic. May the merry from this practice erdom of the Buddha's lands repay the kindness from above and rescue those in paths below. May all who see or hear all this resolve upon awakening. And when this body meets its end, be born together in the land of bliss. Let's bow to the Buddha three times. First bow, second bow, third bow, and if you wish, we'll bow to the master. First bow, second bow, third bow. If you don't have your flu shot, please get your flu shot. It's good for you and it's good for everybody else. That way we won't have a, an epidemic of flu this winter because you did your part. So please get your flu shot. Amitoph. <laughs> 冬天很多感冒的传染，那你就好像是做了你的这个你该做的那那个部分。师父，是？Can you explain briefly what you are going to cover next week? Um, I'm going to do shiny shan, right? I think so. I'm going to do shiny shan, which is um, uh, let me check November talks. Yeah. I'm going to do shiny shan, which is the, um, <laughs> the protuberance at the top of a Buddha's head. And, and in the Shurangama mantra, of course, we know the mantra was spoken by a Buddha that appeared out, out the top of the head and then spoke the mantra. So we're going to look at the syllables in the mantra that are shiny shan and uh, look at the significance of those. 所以持法师下礼拜他还会继续讲楞严咒然后他是要讲色泥山这是楞严咒是佛顶上的画佛所说的所以我们会讲这一句咒的它的意思跟它的重要性 so for tonight, please remember Hushin Dulu Yong. Those five syllables are extremely important. Uh, they are Oma Hong, but they also represent the five Buddhas of the five directions. So as you recite the mantra, remember the significance of them. Amitofo. So Thank you, Chivashi.
did oh we didn't have jgh transfer the merit i hope that's okay jenny i'm sure i forgot <laughs> thank you professor okay good night good night good night